Hello and welcome to Mukesh Tech Hub. In today's video, I will be discussing two important functions in Pandas, Apply and Apply Map. In my previous video, already I had explained about the map functions in Pandas and how to use that map functions. These functions can be used to perform custom operations on your data frame such as applying a function to each row or column or applying a function to every cell in the data frame. In this video, I will explore the basic syntax and uses of these functions with some real world ex examples. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how to leverage the apply and apply map functions in your own data analysis projects. So if you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel and stay updated with more informative videos like this. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. We imported all the required libraries like pandas and numpy. The URL which I'm going to explore here that is the Kaggle train. And using the head, I showed only the five counts from this data frame. In this data frame, you can see there is a column as name. Okay. My requirement is I want to calculate the length for this string. The name contains broad Mr. Owen Harris or Ellen Mr. William Henry. Okay. I want to I want to count the total length of these names. How I can do is okay. The solution is apply function. Dot the column name as name dot and I will do apply here. Okay, and I will call in build function length without the parenthesis. All right, I will assign it to a some different column. So train data and column name is name underscore length. Okay, you can see we are getting all the counts for the records. Okay, so the first record contains 23 character second contains 51 this is the length actually all right so this is the first way where you can use the up now let me compare the modified column and the previous column so what i will do here train data dot i will use the log here and i will show only three records so zero colon three so it will start indexing from zero one and two and the column name is First one is the train data. First one is this one name underscore length name and name underscore length. Okay. So if we will compare, you can see the broad Mr. On Harry's contents. This is the length. Second contains one, third contains the length of 22. All right. Now you can see here in the data frame there is a one column called as fair okay and it contains the value as 7.2 71.2 but i want to apply a function here that can modify all values okay all values row wise and it can round off these values so what does that mean if i will apply the round off functions here so it will do seven instead of 7.25 it will do 8 right 71.2 it will do 72 7.9 it will do 8 okay so what i will do here just to solve the above problem let me use train data dot column name as fair dot apply okay and inside the apply i will be using np dot seal function here and let me assign it to a different variable called as uh, fair underscore seal. Okay, here these two columns like why I did in previous dot I will be using log and I will show only three records and column name would be fair and fair underscore seal because this is the updated one okay so you can see here the initial fair was 7.25 and after updation it got updated as 8 likewise 71.28 it got updated to the 72 
all right so this is the way where we can use the apply function now let me solve a hard problem hard problem here is from this name you can see here from the data frame name contains a bigger strings right the first and last name so requirement is i want to so so the require so the requirement is i want to calculate or i want to find the first name or the last name from this string okay so you can see the broad is the last name mr on series is the first name okay so i need to solve this problem all right function okay now let me write one function get last name it will accept a name okay now what it will do it will return name dot split and how i would like to split it it as comma separate it and it it should return element from that list okay now let me call this one train data dot the column name as name dot apply and inside the apply i will be passing my function name is get last name okay let me execute this one so you can see here all the last name from the names got extracted okay instead of the last name you can also get the first name you can do one okay this is the first one but in my previous video i had explained about the lambda functions in python all right so if you okay so i can solve this above problem using the lambda functions so what i will do here so just to solve above problem i will use the lambda function okay so let me call train data dot the column name as name dot apply and i will passing the lambda keyword lambda followed by the syntax so any variable you can take and i want to perform a split operation on it okay using a comma separated and need only the first index from that series okay so you can see i got all the last name for this name so you can see same in the above if i will do the zeroth only the last name so instead of doing such things uh, three four lines of code i'm just getting the results using the lambda functions within the single line of code ancient apply is a data frame and series method okay so we have used apply as a series function on the above given data set now i will use apply as a data frame method so for that i use the different data set from this url and imported that one and data dot head you can see here this is the new data frame okay so let me first take the few columns from this above data set so data dot lock and i need all the rows and column name is beer servings to wine servings okay so i just used only few columns or i took few columns from this above data set okay column name is beer serving split and wine get the maximum value from these columns so you can see beer serving contains the value as 0 89 25 247 okay so i want the maximum number out of these values similar to spread servings or wine servings okay dot log and same okay let me copy the above one and dot i want to apply okay and i will be passing the max function here in build and what i will do i will be using axis equals to zero this is the very important okay so this is the main difference when you are working with the data frame you have to pass the axis axis equal 0 or 1 so when i'm doing axis equals to 0 it's going through row wise like 0 89 25 245 45, 45, like this way and if i will do axis equals to 1 then it will go column wise like this way
okay so this was about the apply function as a data frame now i will be using the apply map okay apply map is also a data frame method it applies a function to every element of a data frame so this is very simple if you know about the map and apply so it this is use case here in the data frame you can see the all the values are without any floating point numbers i want to convert every element in the floating point so what i have to do here let me copy paste and instead of apply it should be apply map and let me pass the float okay now you can see here all the values got converted to the floating point number so it's 0, 0.0 89.0 okay so it's taking the map and apply and combining those functions within the one and putting on the every element or i can say the element wise within the data frame so this was about the apply map so thank you so much guys for watching